you all know, Week 7 is a very special program, almost unique to Yearland US. Um, we've developed this as a very part of our common curriculum where in addition to learning in the classroom, in Week 7, all of you get out of the classroom led by faculty to do special projects. So one of the hallmarks of Yale and U.S. education is the, um, the focus on experiential learning. And when we were thinking about how do we reinvent the liberal arts for the 21st century. I like the diversity and uh, the enthusiasm and energy. A lot of it was very, very funny, uh, which is always important in a presentation. And how do we infuse that across the curriculum? And of course, week seven is the first example of that that students really have. At Yale and US, we have, a, I think, an ethos of learning that um, pushes students to go out of the classroom and take what they've learned in the classroom outside of it. Um, for me, though, what's, what's really lovely about being at Yale and US is that I can go with them on those journeys. Because that's the start of the journey of reflection. For them, they were uncomfortable. Whether they can take the next step to ask themselves why were they uncomfortable and seek an explanation of that. That's their experiential learning. You need the experience to drive you to do the next step, to search. Be able to explore an area maybe they, that they like or maybe that they haven't really thought about and just want to know. A good exposure, uh, perhaps uh, more relevant issues uh, that impacts us every day. We went to the concentration camps, we kind of, we could feel everything that was there. Um, I think that to me was very experiential. We can be quite removed from the issues that we're studying in that if we want to approach migration or refugee rights or whatever we're interested in studying, we are studying it from a very macro level. Um, experiential learning for me bridges that gap. Experiential learning is more of uh, doing projects in teamwork. Uh, and sharing ideas and getting to learn new things in the process. I mean, week seven is like a clear-cut example. We actually go to a place, we learn from like people who are actually in, involved directly in this field, the biologists we were with. And what's important is that it should not end here. Uh, students should now take this forward and decide for themselves how they want to pursue some of the interests that they have um, developed during week seven. One word, immersive. Uh, I was delighted. Mind-blowing. Stretching. Moving. <laughs> Informative. Impactful. So eye-opening would probably be the cliché, but true answer. It was intensive, I would say, but it was, it was very enjoyable too.